I'm Khaled Hosseini, and I'm here today at the Kawargosk uh, camp here in the Kurdistan region in northern Iraq, uh, which is home to about 13,000 refugees from Syria. And today I want to talk about a very remarkable young woman. Her name is Paiman. She's 16 years old. Uh, she's from the town of Antaria uh, in Syria, and she's been here in the Kurdistan region since uh, August of 2013. Um, I'm very, very impressed by, by Paimon. She is a wonderful writer and had dreams of becoming a writer in Syria where she lived with her parents, uh, and with her sister and her two younger brothers. She was a very good student and was in ninth grade and the education was the most and is the most uh, important thing to her. Um, since she moved to uh, northern Iraq uh, in August of last year, she hasn't been able to attend school uh, because this uh, local school here goes only to ninth grade. Um, and so she's just kind of been attending some of the classes just to be in a school environment. Uh, when I first met her and we began to talk about education, um, I was very touched because uh, she began to talk about her schools and she burst into tears because she was so keen on getting her education in Syria uh, and becoming involved in writing. She writes about women's rights and she's a very thoughtful uh, young person. And so she began crying because she's missing out on her education and I was um, deeply moved by that. She also uh, uh, took the time to read to me some of her writing which was translated to me and I can tell that already at a young age she's a talented and, and precocious writer. Uh, so it's just been a, a, a great uh, pleasure to meet Paimon and get to meet her and the rest of her family here in Kawargosk today. And I hope that um, you too will take the time uh, to tell a story about a refugee. I uh, recommend you go to UNHCR, join UNHCR, and share your own story about uh, uh, a refugee. Hopefully somebody as remarkable as Paimon.